All individuals, particularly students, are very familiar with images such as the one depicted above. But will we see anything like this though? Let's examine the molecule or even the atom. Through the thickest optical microscope, we are aware that there exist these optical devices known as microscopes. These gadgets let you take a gander at really tiny things. You can examine cells of living organisms in them and even their internal structure, as well as many other things that are not visible to the naked eye. But can you take it a step further and see the molecules that make up cells? Strictly speaking, all microscopes have a certain limit to how much they can magnify an image, or in other words, how small of an object they can examine. And let's be completely honest right from the beginning, there is no optical microscope that has the capability to magnify an object as small as a single molecule or atom. Some fundamental laws of optics prevent this. However, let's suppose that we managed to have a microscope with such a fancy resolution that it would be able to show us a tiny object like a molecule or an atom. And here we bring this microscope to a single atom or molecule. What will we observe? The answer is very simple, actually nothing. The thing is, light consists of photons. And in order to see any object under a microscope or even just with the naked eye, and to examine its structure, we need many photons to reflect simultaneously from different parts of this object and abundantly enter the eyepiece of the optical device or into our eye. Of course, it's also possible that the object itself is glowing, meaning it's emitting photons. The meaning remains the same. A lot of photons from different parts of the object should simultaneously enter the optical device. Molecules or atoms interact with photons, otherwise they don't reflect them. Molecules and atoms can only absorb or emit photons. And most of the time photons just fly past molecules and atoms without interacting. OODN, and temporarily an atom or molecule usually emits only one photon, which then this is heading in an uncertain way. Additionally, in order for a molecule or atom to emit a photon, it has to first absorb another photon, you know? So our experiment of observing a molecule under a microscope would look like this. We shine light on an atom or molecule, but most of the photons. It zooms past the atom or molecule studied. Then at some point, one of the photons finally gets absorbed, and after a while, Atoms or molecules emit in unpredictable directions. A similar photon, by the way, often flies in the same direction from which the previously absorbed photon arrived. So like this one photon that's like emitted by a molecule or an atom, we probably won't be able to tell apart from the lighting that we're shining on the object we're studying, you know, like billions of other photons flying around. And if you don't illuminate the molecule, you may need to wait a very long time for the photon it emits. But even the EU, whether we can separate the photon that has flown out of the molecule from the photon in the backlight, nevertheless the best we can expect from the molecule or atom that we are looking at through an optical microscope is that at some unpredictable moment, it or he will still emit one photon towards the eyepiece of the microscope. A person's eye isn't enough to see anything with just one photon, but it's possible to make a microscope in such a way that it can detect and amplify the signal obtained from the impact of a single photon. In any case, it's the best we'll get when observing a molecule or atom closely. A badass optical microscope, it's like disappearing little rare flashes of light, lasting for a fleeting moment, popping up at unpredictable times. These flashes, however, will not visually reflect the structure of the molecule or atom, although their spectrum will contain some information about it, and we will not see a picture similar to the one shown above. Basically, the picture is above. This is just a crappy visualization of the internal structure of an atom, which was explored using other methods, not some fancy optical microscope. 